Make mine marvel, you said. So that's what we're doing in this episode of Cover By. Welcome back to Cover By. This is the show where we compare the A and the B covers and try to decide which is the better one of the two. I'm Magic Lasso Ryan, and I appreciate you joining me. You may remember our last video, which was our very first in this series. Comics for Thomas and Just a Little Podcast both picked the A cover without any question, any doubt, and I picked the B cover. So I got rid of them since they didn't agree with me, and I'm bringing it. No, I'm just kidding. Comics for Thomas and Just a Little Podcast are back, and we have a Marvel book to look at for this edition of Cover By. It's Black Panther, Volume 7, Issue Number 22. So let's see what our panel thinks of the A and the B covers to this issue, starting with Just a Little Podcast, Cookie. I love Black Panther. However, I literally own maybe two comics of Black Panther, Thanks to um, a few people in the comic book community who've actually a okayed me it. However, I'm going to have to go with cover B. I think cover B is really, really dope. The fact that, that you have them seeing on top of a hill. You have T'Challa, I'm assuming, with the gun holding up. And he's he's just looking regal as heck sitting on the top of that hill. And you can tell there's a giant battle going on. You have Wakanda in the background. I think it's really, really sick. Cover A is, don't get me wrong, is a really, really great cover as well. I love the fact that you have all these different people integrated into the face of T'Challa with the mask kind of half on, half off, almost that, that Spider-Man feel, if you will, to it. But I'm going to have to go with Cover B. Cover B kills it. Well, Cookie, like yourself, I don't have a lot of Black Panther comic books in my collection. And it's not because I'm not a fan of his. I really do enjoy the character. I'm not sure why I don't. I definitely don't have any Black Panther comic books from this volume, volume number seven. And I'm not sure of any of the storylines that happen or occur in this volume. But let's take a look at the covers again, starting with cover number A. I think that this is a very strong cover. I look at this and I like seeing uh, the other characters integrated into the profile of Black Panther on this cover. I'm not sure if that's T'Challa or not, but I, I do like it. I really like the rain that's around it. Um, it. It gives it an essence of a feel of the setting of what's going on, at least what I think would be going on inside of this issue. So I think that that's a good cover. But then we turn to the B cover, and I think that this is, it's not equally as strong, it's stronger. This is very cinematic to me when I look at this. This looks like a movie poster to me with Black Panther perched up there, the warriors around him, definitely ready for battle like Cookie mentioned too. I just think that this cover is awesome. I think both of them are good, and I think that this was a tough cover buy. But I think that the B cover this time around is the one that really takes it. Let's turn it over to Comics for Thomas and see what he has to say, if he agrees with us or if he has a different take on it. This was a close one. Uh, this cover A, as you can see right now, is a really, really nice cover. I like when they when you kind of see like outlines or silhouettes of, um, of someone or something, and then there's a bunch of designs in it. And I thought, okay, well, uh, this is going to be really tough to beat. Um, so check out cover B. So the B cover, I actually like more than A, which is really surprising. But um, I think it's the, uh, it, every time I see a Black Panther cover and it's, it's showing like the, that those purple, you know, lines and stuff. Um, there's a couple of covers I think of right away that I even that I own that I love because of that specifically. Um, I really, really enjoyed cover B when I saw it. So I'm actually going to go with cover B. Um, but I would buy both of these books, no problem. So there you have it. We're all in unison for this one. We all agree that cover B for Black Panther volume number seven, issue number 22 is the better of the two. Although I think, as I mentioned before, this was a pretty tough choice to make. But do we agree with you? That's the question. Looking forward to seeing your comments below. Which one do you think is the better cover, the A or the B cover? Do you own any of these comic books? Uh, are you planning on getting any of them? Let's discuss all of this and more in the comments section below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll take this opportunity to do so. I certainly do appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you know when new content like a new episode of Cover By is uploaded and released and you'll be the first to be able to see it. 
Give this video a like and share as well. It's appreciated. So we've done a DC title. We've done a Marvel title. How about for the next cover buy, we'll do We Only Find Them When They're Dead. How about that? That's coming up on this channel soon. Thanks for joining us again for another cover buy. Have a great rest of your day.